temperatures just below the surface of the Earth here are as high as 200 degrees Celsius. Superheated water spews from the ground, visible as steam. Iceland covers nearly half its energy needs by tapping geothermal sources. Heat is stored in these rocks. A German geologist is trying to assess how well different minerals store the thermal energy. She's taking samples of the stones in Iceland to measure their thermal conductivity. When you look at whether rock can be a geothermal heat sink, you have to see how well it conducts heat. Thermal conductivity is the term we use. That's one of the most important properties. Breaking rocks for science. The results Ruta gathers are entered in a database. In future, the information could help in locating suitable sites for potential geothermal power plants across the globe. Iceland isn't the only place where it's warm underground. It's fantastic. For the first time, you can really see what working with geothermal energy is all about and what could be possible in Germany. Geothermal energy has a long tradition in Iceland. Locals use it to grow potatoes and make a traditional brown bread baked in an underground oven for 24 hours. Or they use geothermal energy to heat the sea. The Atlantic at this subpolar latitude should be a chilly 8 degrees, but it's 20 degrees here. How did that happen? Warm water is channeled from the tub into the bay. Anyone for a swim? Seven Icelandic power plants generate clean power using thermal energy. Helis Heidi is one of the newest ones. There were concerns that the natural underground steam boiler wouldn't provide enough hot water. Of course there's a huge financial risk, because you never know if building a power plant is worth it before you've drilled a few holes. And naturally that's very expensive. It took 20 years after the first test boreholes were drilled for the power plant to be given the go-ahead. This is how it works. Steam and water from the boreholes are separated and pumped into the power plant. It works completely automatically. The electricity that it generates can keep the entire capital running. To ensure geothermal energy generation can continue in future, the remaining water is channeled back into the ground. If you're cautious with the energy source, then it's renewable, and a power plant like this could run for a few hundred years. Out in the field, more rock samples are being gathered and taken back to the lab. Soon, a new portable high-tech measuring device could make this work unnecessary. I take out this device, put my sample on it, and could measure out in the field, instead of going into the lab, where I have to prepare the sample. That would be a huge advantage. Johanna Ruta's work measuring the thermal conductivity of rock has only just begun. Investigating thermal energy in Iceland looks set to go on for a long time to come.